No, I think in this meeting uh, it was very clear that there are several very important uh, open questions in multiple sclerosis. So one of the questions, for instance, is that uh, not everything what we have thought to be multiple sclerosis even 10 years ago turns now out to be multiple sclerosis. And uh, uh, very good examples for that are the neuromyelitis optica spectrum disorders or an inflammatory MS-like demyelinating disease which is associated with myelin oligodendrocyte glycoprotein antibodies. And uh, these diseases have sh shared similarities with MS, but they are fundamentally different diseases and require also different treatment strategies. So that is something which is very important to discuss here. Then the second point is that we are living now in a time where we uh, nearly every year we get a bunch of new diseases identified and this is particularly through the uh, analysis of autoimmune antibody reactions and there are uh, diseases where the antibodies are not working as immunological tools but as a pharmacological tools. So they are associated with certain forms of epilepsy but also neurodegenerative diseases and so on. And identifying these antibodies actually led to the identification of many new diseases. And then I think what is very important is the development in therapy. Uh, we have already discussed that we have numerous therapies but we have to clearly think about what therapy fits best for what type of disease. And uh, I think in that respect also the clinical monitoring and I just listened yes, now just uh, a few minutes ago to very interesting lectures using uh, uh, new information technology tools to continuously monitor patients with neurological disease which actually very much help to uh, monitor the disease development uh, far beyond what you can do on a pure clinical evaluation.